ever since they first appeared on land, the arthropods have been fighting one another over food, over territory, over a mate. And the ways they have developed in order to do so are truly astonishing. On the floor of forests almost anywhere in the world, you'll find these bombardier beetles. They look fairly harmless, but not many creatures are foolhardy enough to try and eat them. A mantis. Some mantises are so large and strong, they can even kill small birds. A beetle should be easy. But not this one. A fraction of a second after the mantis strikes, the beetle squirts hot gas and caustic chemicals in its face. The chemicals are produced by a reaction in its abdomen, which generates enough heat to bring the liquid close to boiling point. The bombardier's spray can be deadly to smaller creatures. But the mantis is large and it survives. As does the beetle. On the African savanna, there's a hunter that sets its traps wherever there is dust or dry sand. This is the larva of an ant lion. As an adult, it will look something like a dragonfly, and then its sole purpose will be to mate. It will barely even eat. But now, as a larva, its task is to feed and grow. And to do that, it digs a pit trap in the sand and buries itself at the bottom, jaws uppermost. It can jerk its head so violently that it can shoot up sand grains like bullets. And now it waits. An ant wanders into the pit and loses its foothold. The ant can't climb out. The sand slips from under its feet. Eventually, it tires. And the ant lion drags it beneath the sand and devours it. For the ant lion, remaining hidden is a good way to hunt. <laughs> 